Hi, preschool friends. Are you ready for a story? Are you shaking your head yes? Have you had a nice day today? Have you done lots of fun things? Have you been counting and learning your colors and your shapes? Are you still shaking your head yes? Good for you. So if it's time for a story, that means we have to sing our song. It's a repeating song. Good morning. How are you? It's so good to see you. Let's sing in. Be happy. Are you smiling? Give yourself a nice hug because we're all back together again with a one and a two and a me and a you and a soft hello. We're back together again. This story is a very important story. It's called God Made the World. Did you know that God created the world? Created everything. It's a wonderful story. It's got beautiful pictures. Let's get you all ready. That says, God made the world. A long, long time ago, before God made our world, everything was dark and empty. Then God said, let there be light. And light burst into the darkness. Look at that. Oh, look at this picture, friends. The next day, God made the bright blue sky. On the third day, God made the land and the seas and all kinds of plants and trees. Can you find all those things in this picture? Everything that God made was good. Do you see the water in the sky, the clouds? Can you see all these things, friends? On the fourth day, God put light in the sky. God put the bright sun in the sky for the daytime. Friends, can you point to where the sun is? Then God made the moon and the stars to twinkle in the sky during the night. God saw that the sun, moon, and stars were good. Oh, friends, look at this picture. Do you see all the animals? God made them. Guess what God made on the fifth day? Are you seeing the animals? God made birds to fly high in the sky and fish to swim and skim through the water. How many different kinds of fish can you find in the water? Look at this picture, friends. Do you see all of them? On the sixth day, God made lots more animals to live on the land. How many can you find? God saw that all the animals were good. Do you see the animals that live in the water and the animals that live in the land? God made all of them, friends. Oh, look at this picture. On the sixth day, God also created a man and a woman. Adam and Eve were the very first people in our world. Then God looked at everything he'd made and saw that it was very good. God made a beautiful garden for Adam and Eve to live in. God told Adam and Eve they could eat fruit from all the trees in the garden except for one. One day, a snake tricked Eve into eating fruit from that special tree. Then Adam ate some too. Because they disobeyed God, God made Adam and Eve leave the garden. But God still loved them and watched over them. There's the snake. Do you see the snake? And there's Adam and Eve. God made a special garden for them to live in. They disobeyed God. God filled our, our world with many beautiful things. God wants us to enjoy the wonderful world that he's made. God also wants us to help take care of our world. 
What's one thing you can do to take care of God's beautiful world? Friends, do you have any ideas? How can we take care of the world, our world? One thing would be maybe to pick up trash. There's lots of trash everywhere. That would help keep the world clean, wouldn't it? It's called recycling, too. You could recycle in your house, like plastic or aluminum. Those are good ideas, friends. You could ask your grown-ups. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed your story. Bye.